scream, scream, scream. You have yourself a problem. A big Canadian-sized Sydney Prescott problem. What am I talking about? Well, if you're watching this video, I'm going to assume that you are a fan of the Scream franchise. And unless you've been living under a rock, I can safely assume that you know that this will be the first Scream movie in the franchise coming out next week. The first Scream movie that does not have Nev Campbell, Sidney Prescott in it, which is a big deal. Sidney Prescott's actually my favorite final girl of all time. Absolutely. Here's the problem, okay? You got one set of fans that just will not listen to reason. They want Nev Campbell in this movie. They want to see Sydney. You got another set of fans that are ready to move on. You know, let's see a movie without Sydney. Personally, I fall in the latter camp, okay? And I'm going to explain why. Essentially, you know, we have seen Sydney in all the phases of life we need to see her in, okay? If I want to watch a Scream movie with Sydney Prescott in it, I got five options. I have five fucking options. I can see three movies where she is essentially the main protagonist. I can see uh, another movie in Scream 5 last year where she is in the background as kind of a mentor. And then I can watch Scream 4 where she's kind of in between those. I have options, guys. I have absolutely a shit ton of options if I want to see Sidney Prescott in a Scream movie. What more do I need? What more could they do with her character? Okay, if you have ideas on what more they could do, I'd appreciate it if you comment down below. I'm always open to suggestions. But for me, the only other options are either she turns into a, you know, Linda Hamilton, Laurie Strode, Halloween 2018 type character, which I don't want to see. Or they kill her. I don't want to see her die. She's triumphed all these times. It would... It wouldn't ruin her character if she died, but let her walk into the sunset. Let her be. Let the character win. And then you can say, well, then don't make any more Scream movies. That's not, that's not a fucking option, guys. It's not an option. The Scream franchise is making money right now. They're not just going to stop making money. That's not how things work. Okay? I wish it was all about create the creative uh, decisions, but unfortunately it's not. Okay, we have to look at this from a business perspective and you can sit here and cry fake outrage thinking Nev deserved more money and whether she did or didn't is irrelevant here. You can cry fake outrage, you know, oh, they didn't have dirty. They didn't have dirty. You know, maybe they did. Do you really care about that, though? Or do you just care because you want Sydney in the movie? Are you upset that Nev Campbell doesn't have more money in her bank account? Or are you, are you upset that you don't get to see Sidney Prescott in another Scream movie because that's all you want? Don't tell me you give a fuck about the first option there. You don't care how much money Nev Campbell has in her bank account. You might care that you think she was disrespected, but even that, you really don't care. You just want what you want because at the end of the day, most of us, and in some respects, all of us are kind of selfish with things like this. Whether you like to admit it or not, you are. I personally am. I'll be the first to admit it. I think the Scream franchise should go a certain way, you know, without Sydney. And if that doesn't happen, you know, I'm not going to be pissed off. But I think, you know, it, it's what I think, you know, it's my selfish reasons. I don't want to see Sydney die for selfish reasons. I don't want to see her turn into Linda Hamilton for selfish reasons. Don't cry fake outrage. That shit is so childish. And I know it's a product of how we, you know, the times we live in right now. But I think it's pretty ridiculous to, uh, to cry outrage over that when really at the end of the day, you're not sitting, uh, sitting awake at night because Nev Campbell uh, only was offered... And these are just made up numbers. Only was offered a $2 million instead of the $7 million she's worth. Come on, man. That's ridiculous. Um, but just to continue, as I got off topic there, 
just to continue a little bit on other reasons why, you know, the franchise is better off letting Sydney be. You know, it's time to move on, guys. You know, as you get older, a lot of you might not be as old as I am, but as you get older, sometimes you realize that the things you want most at the time that you don't get when you look back, you realize that that might have been the best thing that happened in that circumstance. Whether it's a relationship, whether it's a job, whether it's whatever, sometimes the best things to happen are not the things that you want to happen. It, that's life, guys. Sometimes it's time to move on. It's time to move on to the next chapter, the next job, the next partner, the next final girl, whether it's Sam or Tara or whoever. You know, sometimes it is time to move on and that can be the best thing to happen. Now, it can also crash and burn, you know, because we have this section of fans and maybe you're one of them and that's okay, you know. But we have this section of fans that, you know, is possibly going to refuse to see the movie because Nev Campbell is in it, isn't in it. Or Nev Campbell, you know, doesn't have more money in her bank account or whatever the fucking reason is that they lie and tell themselves that they're going to boycott the movie. Because everything's got to be boycotted these days. You know, there's a section of fans that might not go to the movie and that could sink the franchise, right? It could. I don't think it will. Because at the end of the day, we all want one thing here. We want a good fucking Scream movie. Whether it's with Nev Campbell, Jenna Ortega, or whoever. Sometimes it is time to move on. And I think we have seen the best versions of Sidney Prescott. And we don't need to see any more. Let's move on, guys. This rant is brought to you by Nick Push's Horror Channel. I'm ready for the hate, guys. That's not why I made this. I didn't make this to piss anyone off. I didn't make this to get hate. I just know how this shit works. Um, but I just wanted to kind of get my thoughts out there. I find it therapeutic. Um, a lot of you will probably disagree with me. A lot of you will probably agree with me. Uh, but at the end of the day, we're all horror fans. We're all a fan of this franchise. Whether we um, you know, want Cindy back or not, for our own selfish reasons. And like I said earlier, they are selfish Myself, myself included, I'm not calling anyone that's watching this selfish without calling myself selfish because we're all human. But whether we get what we want or not, um, we all want a good Scream sequel here. And we're about a week away from finding out if that's going to be a reality or not. So I appreciate you guys sticking through this rant. As always, tell me your comments down below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button if you want to see me make an ass out of myself any more like this. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, thanks for watching. Seriously though, guys. See you next time.